This episode of the Kintsugi Podcast is brought to you by Pause, Breathe, Reflect, which can help you bring mindfulness to your everyday moments. Hey there, it's Michael. Welcome to Friday, my fellow like-hearted humans. On Fridays, I like to share a moment with you to pause, breathe, reflect before you slide into the weekend. I started my practice over 20 years ago when I was feeling completely overwhelmed. I knew I had to slow things down. So I started my practice and I called it pause, breathe, reflect. And the reflect element was essential because it created space for me to practice gratitude and set my intentions on what kind of ripple I wanted to ripple into the world. When I left the hospital, I continued my studies, discovered MBSR, and became a qualified teacher. And now, I love sharing the value of mindfulness with humans all around the world through the Kintsugi podcast and our app. So we can change our relationship with stress, sleep better, and bring mindfulness to our everyday moments. So mindfulness can be a way of living as opposed to some transactional thing we do during our morning routine. So if you're ready, let's do a short practice together. I need to admit, there were more than a few times during my corporate days, when I came home, my wife would ask me, how was your day? And I would say, it was pretty good if it wasn't for all the people, which is not the nicest thing to say. But sometimes, if I'm honest, our colleagues can get the best of us. They know how to land just on that nerve and they won't let it go. And we need to find a way to calm down so we don't do or say something we would later regret. So back in the day when I felt this way, I did this practice. And today you can do it at the office, in between Zooms or Teams, or really anywhere where you feel you could use a moment of calm. So when you're ready, settle into a comfortable position. You may wish to bring a sense of dignity to your posture. Feeling your feet planted firmly on the ground. And since you're always at choice, you can close your eyes or keep them open. And we'll drop in. We'll begin with a few healthy inhales. And a nice slow releasing exhale. When we get agitated for whatever reason, things can feel like they're moving pretty quickly. So use this moment and the slow release of your out breath to slow things down. Coming into this moment. You may wish to visualize that you're breathing out through your body and then out through the feet into the ground. Like you're rooting into the ground, feeling more stable and grounded. When it feels right, you can settle in 
to a natural inhale, but continue with a long, slow releasing exhale. And with each breath out, inviting more calm and stability to come into the body. You may wish to invite the shoulders to relax. Maybe they drop away from the ears. You can bring some openness to the area around your jaw, especially if you are just clenching it. Allow yourself to slow down and bring greater calm into this moment. Appreciating that even the best of us can get agitated by another person or a colleague. It's part of life. And you can always come back to your center. You can come back to your breath as a way to slow things down and reflect on how you can be more intentional with what you say and do next. All right, nice job. You can open your eyes if you've had them closed. Maybe wiggle those beautiful fingers and toes and give your body a little stretch. And remember to keep rippling something worth rippling into the world. I hope you enjoyed this moment to slow things down. And if you found it valuable, I hope you'll share it with a friend. You can find other practices like this one on our Pause, Breathe, Reflect app. And you can find the app wherever you happen to find apps. And you always have an open invitation to join one of our live practices throughout the week with other like-hearted humans. It's a space where everyone belongs, regardless of who you voted for, where you live, how much money you make, who you love, and if you pray. So I hope you'll join us. The only thing we ask is that you bring a loving heart to our space. On Tuesday, I'll share another inspiring story of connection with you on the Kintsuki podcast. Until then, have a meaningful weekend and ripple something worth rippling into the world.